Question 1. How to drill through from a PowerPlay cube to ReportNet? Answer. Setting up drill through access from PowerPlay web to ReportNet involves configuring Cognos Series 7 for drill through access to ReportNet, preparing the transformer model and cube, copying the search path of the folder that contains the target report, enabling the cube for drill through access to ReportNet, deciding which filters to create in the target report, creating the target report, disabling the drill through assistant. Question 2. How to create prompts in ReportNet? Answer. Prompts as meant by the end user can be filter the data. Open the explore bar and added the new prompts page, and enter the new name. Go to tool menu and track prompts button. Select prompts and then OK. Question 3. Explain what is difference between Query Studio and Report Studio? Answer. Query Studio, used to create ad hoc, or, simple reports. It does not provide any pre-defined report templates. It directly displays data, without running the report, when we insert attributes in the report. Report Studio, used to create complex reports. It provides pre-defined report templates. It does not display the data directly in the report. We need to run the report to display the data. Question 4. What is the difference between PowerPlay Transformer and PowerPlay Reports? Answer. PowerPlay Transformer is an MOLAP tool using which one can create multi-dimensional structure called cube. PowerPlay for reports is used to generate report from the cube. Only one report can be generated from one cube. If you want n reports you must create n cubes. Question 5. Explain what are components of Report Studio? Answer. Components of Report Studio. Insertable Objects Pane. Properties Pane. Explorer Bar. Conditional Explorer. Query Explorer. Page Explorer. Report Viewer. Work Area. Report Layout Objects. Question 6. Explain what are the advantages of Query Studio compared to Report Studio? Answer. The Query Studio is used to create ad hoc reports. It is easy to understand the business user. The Report Studio is mainly used to create professional and corporate reports. It is not like Query Studio. It is having mainly three explorers. Those are Page Explorer, Conditional Explorer and Variable Explorer. By using these it is working. You can view the output in the work area itself while creating the reports in QS but in Report Studio only when you run the report you can view the values. Question 7. How to generate the cubes in Framework Manager? Answer. You can create the IQD file from Framework Manager. This IQD file will be used by Transformer to create the cube. Use externalize method to import IQD files. Question 8. Explain the versions of ReportNet. Answer. In ReportNet have two versions, ReportNet 1.0 ReportNet 1.1 MR1, MR2. Question 9. Explain the difference between Native SQL and Cognos SQL. Answer. In Cognos ReportNet Native SQL is used for the single data source to import the metadata. Cognos SQL used for multiple data sources to import the metadata. Question 10. Explain is there any comparison available for Cognos ReportNet vs Crystal Reports? Answer. There is a lot of difference between Crystal Reports and Cognos ReportNet. Crystal Report is a product of business objects whereas ReportNet is of Cognos. Creatal Reports is for only low to mid-range analysis and that to some even says tha they won't use this for analysis used to make proper strategic decision but ReportNet yes it is for high-end analysis. In ReportNet we can log in through web and can create our own desired report through web. Question 11. Explain how to generate IQD file from Framework Manager. Answer. Create a query subject. From the properties pane select externalize. There we have four options in that select IQD. Question 12. Suppose your client wants to ensure only specific users can create reports in Query Studio with other users creating reports using Report Studio. How can this be accomplished? Answer. Create two roles. One role can be given access to create reports in RS and the other role may be denied. Question 13. Explain what are components of ReportNet? Answer. ReportNet has a three-tier architecture, namely, web server applications and data. The tiers are based on business function, and are typically separated by firewalls. ReportNet user interfaces sit above the tiers. ReportNet user interfaces include web-based Cognos Connection, Cognos Report Studio, and Query Studio, Windows-based Framework Manager.
Question 14. Explain the difference between DW and BY. Answer. There may be a feature film, movie, without a trialer, but there will be no trialer without a movie. Similarly, data warehousing is a concept related to extracting clients' business data and applying business processing features on that data according to user needs and finally loading the processed data into a database. This database is what we call a warehouse or data warehouse. After the completion of a data warehouse, the business user ultimately ultimately want to view his data, a precise and summary data, but as a business person he may don't have knowledge of accessing a database, a computer person can access the database with SQL, so there comes OLAP tools, which help that person to access the database, we can call these OLAP tools as business intelligence tools, intelligence in sense they generate SQL queries internally and provide lot of facilities and privileges for a reporting developers in formatting the data and presenting it in a Higley convenient convenient manner. So data warehouse movie is a database and business intelligence tools trialers present the content of a database in an efficient manner. Question 15. Explain what are the various file formats involved in ReportNet? Answer. It has six, six formats in ReportNet. They are HTML, PDF, Excel 2000, Excel 2002, CSV, and XML format. We can see the types of formats in the report viewer on the right side.